Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 max chapter 6, the junk seller worksheet with answers. If you are uh, new to this channel of your, or if you are uh, just uh, opened this chapter, you can just go through the textbook solutions uh, with explanations of my video. I will give the link in the description box. Please go through that video so that you will be, it will be easy for you to solve these questions. First, I'll be showing the question slide. If time is not sufficient, you can just pause the video later, which I'll be discussing the solutions with you. First question, find the value of the following notes. Your time starts now. Find the value of the following notes. 5 notes of 100. Meaning as 5 into 100. You will be getting 500. Next 12 notes of 5. Rupees 5. That is uh, 12 into 5 is 60 rupees. 10 notes of 10 rupees. 10 into 10. Then 50 rupees notes into 15. So you will be getting 750. 6 into 1000. 6,000 and 8 into 20, 160, 14 into 2 is 28. For all these you have to mention rupees. Next, how many? Your time starts now. How many 50 rupees nodes are needed to make rupees 200? So when you multiply 50 into how much you will be getting rupees 200. So 50 into 4 is rupees 200. Similarly 50 into dash is rupees 800. So here you will be getting 16 because 6 5 is a 30 and now you will be getting rupees 800. How many 20 rupees and 10 rupees notes are needed to make 190? That is 9 20 rupees plus 1 rupee. That you will be getting 20 into 9 that is 180 plus 110 rupee. You will be getting this 190. Next 270. 13 into 20 rupees, you will be getting 260 plus 10, that is 270. The same way, 1000 rupees, how many 1000 rupees nodes are needed to make? 7000, that, that is easy, you know, 7 and for 10,000 you need 10,000 10, rupees nodes. Next question, multiply the following by split method. Just pass the video and uh, solve it. Later, I will discuss the solutions. Your time starts now. Multiply the following by split method. Here the answers are given. I'll give, I'll solve one for your reference. First, split this as 
20 and 8. Next, uh, split this 70 as 75 as 70 plus 5. You will be getting 1400. And uh, if you multiply this, you will be getting 100. If you multiply this, you will be getting um, 560. And uh, next, you will be getting 40. If you add all these, 1400, 100, 560, then 40. If you add this, you will be getting 11 to 2100. This is how you should multiply for all the sums. Next, if a person earns rupees 73 a day, find how much he, he earns in 7 days, 6 weeks, 89 days, 17 weeks. Your time starts now. The answer for this is seven. So for seven days, you will be earning seven rupees seventy three into seven. You will be getting um, rupees five hundred and eleven for six weeks. Each week, uh, in a week, you will be having seven days. Six weeks is you will be ha you you have to multiply with forty two. Seventy three into forty two is rupees three thousand six uh, three thousand sixty six. Next eighty nine days, you have to multiply with eighty nine. You will be getting rupees sixty uh, six thousand four hundred and ninety seven. Next for seventeen weeks, you have to multiply seventeen into seven. You will be getting hundred and nineteen. Hundred and nineteen. If you multiply with the uh, 73 you will be getting 8687 make sure you are, you uh, write rupees whenever you write you have to write rupees and then the answer next calculate the interest paid your time starts now answer for this is you have to subtract amount with interest and amount that is 680 minus 600 the answer will be rupees 80 and uh, 5500 minus uh, 5000 is rupees 500 1500 minus 556 is rupees 544 1000 minus 678 is 322 and uh, 850 minus 7 23 the answer is 127 rupees next complete the table your time starts now the answers for this is what you have to do is first if this is cost price this is selling price if cost price is more and selling price is less you will end up um, loss if cost price is less and selling price is more you will end up with profit first we'll check whether it is profit if selling price is more then you will have to write profit so here first three it is profit 
and uh, second uh, first three is profit and um, this is also profit uh, this is also profit this is also a profit then uh, here it is lost 300 uh, and 125 here it is loss and here also it is lost by 1 rupee here it is profit so this is how you should uh, uh, think up think for profit and loss then you have to check by how much for that you have to subtract 40 minus 32 you will be getting 8 rupees here you will be getting 11 rupees then 7 rupees rupees 63 175 rupees then 1 rupee then you will be getting 325 in each cases you have to mention rupees so this is wrong this is profit because the selling price is more here next cost of one potato bun is rupees 6 ram bought five buns he gave rupees 50 to the shopkeeper how much money should he get back the time starts now you can answer this The answers for this is cost of one potato bun is rupees 6. Ram bought 5 buns. So 5 into 6 is rupees 30. But he gave how much? But he gave rupees 50. Uh, Ram returns back rupees 20. This is the answer. Next, read the following and answer the questions. Your time starts now. The answers for this is 30 eraser cost. Cost of one eraser is 7. So 30 eraser cost is uh, 7 into 35 you will be getting 210. 7 staplers is uh, 110. So 14 staplers is you have to multiply by 2. You will be getting rupees 220. 4 sharpener is uh, rupees 3. You, if you want to get uh, 20 sharpeners, you will you'll have to multiply it with 5. So, you will be getting rupees 15. Each case is you have to mention rupees. If you don't mention, it is just a number. It is not uh, money. So, always mention rupees whenever you write answers for these type of questions. Hope uh, you all uh, solved all the questions right. If you have any doubt or any queries, you can just comment me. Thanks for watching.